You just gotta love YouTube, right? So as you know, and that is a powerful step in getting great performance out of your Windows 10, of course. Now, I went old school in that video and I showed you a way to clean disk space that is kind of traditional. It's been around a long time in Windows. And one of our viewers here in YouTube, so cool, they pointed out a feature that I should show as well. And the reason why I didn't originally show this was to be quite honest, I didn't know about it. Remember, one of the things that happens with your Windows 10 now is it is being updated with new features uh, thanks to your internet connection. And so you're constantly getting new features. Now, this one uh, showed up in September of 2018. So it just shows you how I can be a bit behind the times when it comes to my Windows 10. But anyways, here it is. It's a really cool way and I'm taking advantage of it as I'll show you in a moment to free up space. So in your Windows settings, you're gonna go to system and the feature that we want to show you is called Storage Sense, and you're going to find it by clicking on Storage. First of all, it does this really nice uh, little graphical representation here of what is taking up space on your system. That's very cool. And notice that we can even click on this item in order to start like managing it. But let me go back because <laughs> I didn't want to do that. And we're going to go back to the system and then storage. And what I wanted to show you was this cool storage sense right here. Notice that storage sense can automatically free up space by getting rid of files you don't need, like temporary files and contents in your recycle bin. So I don't want to keep this thing on. I don't like things being deleted or manipulated without me being completely aware of what's going on. So I'm not going to turn it on, but I'm still going to take advantage of it by clicking on configure storage sense or run it now. And when I come in here, I see that there is this nice option for deleting temporary files like it. So I check that and then delete files in my recycle bin. If they've been there for over hmm, 30 days, that's cool. I'm going to set that that way. Delete files in my downloads folder if they haven't been opened for more than, hmm, I like that one too. I'll say 60 days on that one. And then locally available cloud content. This is so cool. Have it take your OneDrive if you're using Microsoft OneDrive to store stuff. Have it look at your files and move things to online only if they haven't been opened for more than 60 days. And you can configure that number of days. I love that. How cool is that? So it'll look at all of my OneDrive files. And by the way, they're all local on my machine. In addition to being in the cloud, that's how I'm configured. But this will go and look at that and go, okay, wait a minute. We're going to strategically move them to online only if Anthony hasn't opened them in 60 days. Such a clever feature. Just to show you uh, this in action, let me set this down to 30 days. I ran it earlier with this set to 60 days and these settings, and I'll click clean now. So we don't have to run this all the time. We can just come in here, make our settings, and then choose the clean now. Earlier when I ran this, I freed up 20 gig. Yeah, 20 gig of temp files and old stuff in the recycle bin and moving files from uh, the local OneDrive to the online only OneDrive. So notice it will clean up the files and it'll work on this. And don't be surprised when your OneDrive interface pops up and you can see if you want to, the files that you haven't used in a long time that are being moved to the online only status. Notice this takes a while, so we won't get to see it complete, but I did want to show you this wonderful feature, and this is definitely something you want to take advantage of as you are keeping the disk space nice and tidy. And by the way, one more thing, deleting temporary files, that's a really good way to eliminate problems on your Windows 10 machine. So this tip video is going a little bit, uh, you know, into from performance 
into more of a discussion of reliability of your Windows 10 machine. Pretty cool. Hey, and look at that. I was talking so much it finished, and I freed up a whopping 150 meg. And that's because, of course, that it only moved a couple of files online that I hadn't used in a long time. I had run it earlier, as I said, to test this feature and got that 20 gigs of space back. It was a glorious thing. Well, thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back with yet another How to Speed Up Windows 10 video. Thank <laughs> you.